Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get some really interesting insights from your personal knowledge management system or second brain using a combination of text network analysis and AI. So that in the end, you get something like this graph here, which is the visualization of my Obsidian Vault made using Infranodus, where you can see the main concepts. You can also see which topical groups they belong to. So this is something that you don't see in the standard graphs. You can also see what the most influential elements are and then you can use this structural insight to ask the system to detect a structural gap so which two topics could be connected in a new way and then ask it to generate an interesting fact that would link them together and what's interesting here is that it will be relevant by definition because you're touching upon the topics that you're talking about but you're linking them in a new way and this we can only do if we have structural insight into the text and this is exactly what Infranodus uh, allows us to do. So here we see some interesting research facts which we can reiterate through and add some of them into the graph. They will be tagged uh, which means that later we can filter those statements that we added and uh, import them back into Obsidian or LogSec. Another interesting way to use uh, the AI feature here is to actually get into the graph visualization and to look a little bit closer at what it offers. So basically here we have three different views. We see pages and concepts. We, we also see pages only. So this is the view that you have uh, in Obsidian or LogSec by default only the connections between your pages but in addition here we have the structural insights on how those pages belong together and which groups they are actually connected. Then we also have a text analysis so we have the analysis of the concepts that are used in your discourse. So this is text mining, visualization of the main concepts and the relations between them and then we can also view them both at the same time. So for instance if I want to dive a little bit deeper into my discourse using the AI. I will shift to the concept mode so I see what I've been writing about, not the page, page or concepts names but actually the language I used and then I'm going to see that okay I've been writing about fractal and networks so what I can do is I can select those nodes and hide them from the graph to see what's hiding behind them. So I see there is model, I'm also going to hide that. Now I see that there is something about distribution and scale. Okay so this can be interesting I select those nodes, I can see here in which context those nodes were used and now I can use the AI to generate some interesting con content in relation to those uh, concepts. So I select those two and I can choose to select some completely different concepts on the other side of the graph like brain activity Then I go into the AI helper, those four nodes are selected and then I ask the system to generate an interesting fact that would connect those two groups of concepts together and now if I see something I like I'm going to save it into the graph it's going to have a tag AI facts which means that later when I deselect everything and uh, I go here I see all those facts visualized and I can export them as an MD file and get them back into ROM research obsidian or LogSec. So this is how it works in a nutshell. We have a longer tutorial available on our channel and in the support system. So if you would like to try it out, please let us know. And uh, it will be interesting to see what you think about this approach and if you find it useful for your own workflows. So please try it out and let us know in the comments to this video if it worked for you, what you find interesting, what could be improved, what other features you would like to have. Thank you.